This video is brought to you by rvgenset.com. Hey guys, today we're doing a hopefully quick video about our Champion 75537i generator. This is a 3000 watt class generator and this one has the remote electric start. This is a very popular generator and it delivers a lot of value for the money. However, it does not include an hour meter. So guess what we'll be doing today? Yes, we're installing an hour meter. This is from the El Cheapo Corporation. Pick this up on Amazon for less than $15. Link in the description below. All right, so now we are looking at the back side of the generator, which is held in by two little screws and pop off this little access panel. So the interior of the generator is revealed and up top is where you will find the spark plug cable. We have the hour meter, two little screws and a wire. All right guys, so on the back of our little hour meter card, there are some instructions. Of course, you can screw the hour meter into the top of the unit if you choose to do so. Uh, we're just gonna use sticky tape. See, the trick is we're gonna have to feed this cable down through the top of the generator. So I'm gonna have to drill a small hole. And the trickiest part of this entire little process is figuring out where to drill the hole. Of course, you don't want to drill down into anything important. You just wanna go through the case and you wanna have a clear space so that you can feed the wire down through the top of the generator. And also done a visual inspection inside the unit and you can see just a, a little bit of space where you can drill and feed a wire down. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna show up on video, but right now I'm shining a bright light in the interior of the case and you can see sort of the edge. Again, this may not come across in the video, but shining a bright light inside the case has really helped. All right, so we're drilling here for oil. Now, hopefully we don't strike oil. There's some good things to be said about having a plastic case, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of transparency there and it should be fairly easy to drill. So here we go. All right, now that we've drilled our hole, we're going to feed our little wire down into the case. Making progress, guys. All right, so here's a little hour meter. I'm just gonna set it to the side here. And we're going to use 3M double-sided sticky tape to attach it. So I'm gonna feed the cable down in an appropriate length. And let's go like so. And then the wire, I believe, just, just kind of slides right in here get it up inside the hour meter. So it just kind of bites onto it there. And I'm gonna pull it so that it's even here at the end. So you can kind of see the wire just tucks back in there next to the hour meter. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of play here so that we can put our sticky tape on. In fact, we might go ahead and do that. Like I said, maybe it's, at some point in the future I'll do a more permanent installation, but I don't think we'll really have too many problems with this coming loose. So, now I'm gonna pull the wire taut. Go down like so. Voila. All right guys, so I'm supposed to wrap this wire around four centimeters uh, below the end of the spark plug boot. So here we have the spark plug boot and I'm just gonna start doing it right around here. And we're gonna wrap it, we're gonna wrap it probably at least a half dozen times. Just wrapping this around this cable nice and tight. All right, so. Have this thing kind of zip tied together. I'm gonna pull it taut. And I'll turn it. Yeah. 
So with this excess cable, of course I don't want it like touching any hot parts of the engine. I have plenty of extra, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it together and kind of tuck it up higher up in the case. And of course, you really want to leave enough play in the wire so that you can change your spark plug at some point down the road. Now we're going to crank the generator and see if the hour meter is working. If it is working, the little hourglass on the left should flash. Alright guys, uh, FYI, this is a ventilated space, but really you should never run a generator in a garage because it kicks out a lot of exhaust fumes. Uh, but we ran it for six minutes and that is what, one tenth of an hour? And if you look at the face of the hour meter, you can see one tenth of an hour, hoorah! So it is definitely working. And overall, I'm feeling pretty good about this little installation. <laughs> the cord seems to be tucked away neatly beneath the case. I don't think there's gonna be any problem with the wire uh, touching any part of the engine. And I kind of like the placement here on top of the generator because I don't think it's gonna come into contact with anything when we're moving it around. So voila, we have just upgraded our champion generator. And of course an hour meter can really help you keep track of your generator usage when you need to change the oil and so forth. If you're in the market for a generator, check out rvgenset.com. There we have a master list of just about every good generator under the sun for RV purposes. There will be a link to this El Cheapo hour meter which seems to work just fine in the description for this video. If you are new here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscriptions mean a lot to us. Until next time, I am Sean. This is Long Long Honeymoon, where we say lo lo ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. By popular demand, Long Long Honeymoon is now on Patreon. If you want to be a Loloho VIP, check it out. <laughs>